Hi, this is Simon Leon from SimonLeon.com. Welcome to my Taiwan travel vlog. And today, let's talk about how to make money with travel videos as a vlogger or blogger. Who doesn't like to travel, right? But what's even better than simply traveling? How about if you can be a traveler and make money at the same time? In my video about how to make money while traveling with family on vacation, I talked about how you can automate your YouTube video uploads by scheduling them in advance so it can work for you while you're on holiday. That's one way. But what are other ways that you can monetize actively as a vlogger? Throughout our series on how to make money on YouTube, we've been sharing with you just how powerful the YouTube Ads program with Google AdSense really is. Because well, it pays you just for uploading videos through the ads that your video displays. While there are definitely more ways to monetize your videos, which we will talk more about in future lessons, in this final lesson from my Taiwan trip during the 2019 and into the 2020 holiday season series, let's dive deeper into making passive ad revenue by simply sharing your own travel videos. No doubt that as a travel vlogger or blogger, it is very enjoyable to be able to go on trips, document your experience, and share it with the world. I'm sure you will agree, even more enjoyable to be making money doing so and cash out anywhere in the world you happen to be, right? But is it possible? Absolutely. How exactly? Believe it or not, it's as simple as taking trips, filming while you're on the road, and maybe doing some video editing work for just a little while at the hotel. For example, you can do what I did throughout my recent Taiwan trip. Just to share with you in this video my favorite moments in Taizong, Yilan, and Taipei. And also how you can make money with videos by simply bringing your camera and any necessary gimbals or accessories and turning it on. Record your travels and rides, especially while you're flying on planes or road trips inside of a car, public transportation like the subway and any other interesting terrains you might pass by while traveling by train which is always fun. Give a quick tour of the hotel or accommodations that you may have stayed at during your trip. Take shots of the awesome scenery around you, the amazing local cuisines, such as street food or at restaurants, local delicacies that every tourist must try, most of which that many people almost always take photos of anyway that simply end up sitting in their memory cards, taking up their precious storage space. Share a sneak peek into the localized cultures surrounding you every single day. Explore the experience you have as you walk through and engage in the night markets, as each of them also provide a unique feel. And where there are night markets, there should also be day markets. Share those as well. Plus, while you're shopping, whether it's at the malls or the local street markets, different kinds of architecture that really speaks to the local culture of wherever you might be visiting, agricultural farmlands you can't find anywhere else, various landmarks that might have cultural or historical significance, or maybe some kind of tourist attraction that attracts attention with their creativity and designs. Nice places and locations that you can create various time lapses of during the day and at night to display the visual differences that may perhaps also share a variety of different visual experiences. Or even if you just happen to be walking down the streets for a small glimpse of the city's lifestyle. Or just pan your camera around and just film all kinds of random things as they all do contribute to the user experience to let them feel like they're right there on the trip with you. Then create a little montage of all the clips you've recorded. And of course, if you don't actually mind to film yourself or even talk to the camera, you have even more choices as you can now put yourself as well as those traveling with you into the middle of the actual experience itself. The traveling, the walking down the streets and through the night market or day markets, showing your viewers the historic and local attractions and anything else that you want those watching your videos to enjoy and experience with you. If you want, you can play around with cool and interesting transitions or special effects and just let your imagination run wild. Or you can just put all the clips together and do a narration, a voiceover, exactly like the way I'm doing right now. Although like I said, being on camera is optional. 
And if you choose not to be, then it's not much different than simply taking clips together and using a similar style as making videos without showing your face if you only want to film your surroundings. Or it's almost comparable to simply using other people's videos, except now you're using your own. Nonetheless, same concept of taking clips that don't show you on camera, just that you're using your own recorded footage. Now for me, I'm only summarizing my trip with these scenes and explaining how you can make the same ones. But of course, you can choose to create an actual story with yours that fans of traveling vlogs would want to watch. And you'll definitely be able to build up your own fan base of subscribers who enjoy your content, your travels, your vlogs, so you can monetize your videos. Oh, I did mention that you can also be a travel blogger, right? Well, you can share your photos and even videos directly on your blog, and it will also help to promote your content. I'll have more lessons on making money with blogs at a later time, so stay tuned for those. As for earning potential for these kinds of vlogging style contents, how much can you make? Well, these are just a few travel vlog YouTubers who had created their brand with vlogs for the sole purpose of entertaining their viewers. All they do is travel around and create similar videos as the kind you're watching right now. And by monetizing their channels with ad monetization, this is a small glimpse into how much some of these channels are making. As with every niche or niche, however you want to say it, some channels make more than others. Others. But even at the low end, I'm sure it's not so bad to have your trips paid for, right? And on the higher ends, turn your passion of traveling into a six-figure business or even a million-dollar venture. As you can see, it's already being done. What's stopping you from doing the same thing? And hey, that's why people do travel vlogs. Yes, they're fun. They can be entertaining. It might even make you online famous. But more importantly, they are profitable. And making your YouTube videos profitable? Well, that is exactly what we teach at our free YouTuber Millionaire Secrets mini course, which is now back in Malaysia and may also soon be coming to Taiwan, following up on our previous two successful programs in Taipei with Chinese versions of Internet Millionaire Secrets and E-Commerce Millionaire Secrets, both of which we've also done in other parts of the world as well, like Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. This is what being a traveling entrepreneur is all about, having fun, enjoying life, and in some cases, changing lives at the same time. To keep up to date on all the exciting plans, as well as to learn more about different ways to make money with your passion on YouTube, as well as other video sharing platforms, subscribe, click the bell, like, share, and comment with your interests to learn about more ways to make money with your travel videos, and I will personally reply to you. Take action now. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you at the top.